hope y'all having a great Thursday. And I just want to do like a little Thursday chit chat. I know y'all saw a title of my video, so let's jump right into it. For years, I've been mostly a closed book. I never really opened up much except when it came to my writing, but truthfully, I was not like this when I was a child. I was very upbeat and talkative until I reached my preteen years and started to just shut down. And that was mainly due to my internal struggles that I felt like I could not open up about to anyone. Now, I'm a unique individual and I see, where I see the world very differently from the people around me. So I had a hard time expressing myself because I was so different. And just like, you know, some of you today, growing up, a good portion of us were taught either directly or indirectly not to be vocal about certain things and to stay in a child's place and be seen and not heard. And most likely we have carried those same characteristics and rules into our adulthood, which results in difficulty of expressing our wants and needs when interacting with others. It is very damaging to bottle up your issues and even certain desires of the heart because you can end up complacent and miss out on your own life. So I wanted to put out this public service announcement. Stop the shyness. I am not, you know, just saying this just to you, but to myself as well. So I do believe that silence is deadly. It's very destructive. Because when you decide to keep things just hidden inside of you and you never release them, they're going to end up just going off in the wrong way. And I just believe you do need to open your mouth up about that. And just like I was talking about desires, sometimes we can just hold on to desires inside our heart. We never express them, never talk about them. And that ends up in this inner frustration. And the example I want to use is during prayer time that I don't always be open about everything that I need to tell God. Um, instead, whether it's um, something I'm struggling with or something that I desire, I just keep it to myself because I think in that, you know, God don't really care or I may be dreaming too big, which is all of that is just false because God knows every single thing about us. He knows what we're thinking. So might as well just open up about it. So two nights ago, I decided to pray for a particular thing and felt like, something was lifted off of my shoulder afterwards because I chose to be bold this time with what I desired and just left at God's feet. And it was nothing wrong with the desire I set before God, but my mentality had to change about it. See, I had closed my mouth for so long that I hid the very things that I need to voice that could unlock my future and potential. Being shy about things is no longer cute because your silence could be the very reason why things are not moving the way they need to in your life. You have to open up your mouth and take off that mask of shyness. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to pretend to be something that you are not, but do not hide your voice. So I'm starting to believe that shyness is not a personality trait, but a way that we choose to communicate. Being bold or even vocal has nothing to do with how loud you are, but knowing how to communicate what you need to go forward in life. Honestly, that can mean a number of things. It can mean open up your mouth to a counselor or a trusted friend about the trauma you experienced in the past in order for you to heal. It can mean open up your mouth in prayer about your future spouse or the business ideas you want to bring to fruition. For some of us, it may be vital for us to voice out a breakup to people we need to disconnect from. So we would not bring these wrong friendships or relationships into the future God planned for our life. If you need something, say it. If you have a pure desire that you want to see fulfilled, voice it. Remember, silence brings stuff to your future. Speak up because your life is dependent on it. So I hope y'all had a good listen. I'm still trying to work on recording a little bit so if y'all hear a little background noise or it may seem I may be too close to the mic I apologize for that I'm trying to work on that and I just hope you have a great day I'm going to bring in some more content with y'all this year trying to grow my channel and just bless y'all with some great things so have a great day